Krista Nightingale is going to talk about Dallas. You know, we're, we're doing some great things here in Dallas, and she's going to make sure that we don't screw it up. How many times do you have something that's so close to greatness, and then you just screw it up? She's going to talk to that and make sure that we don't do that. Come on down. Hi, yes, I'm Krista Nightingale, and I am the Managing Director of the Better Block Foundation. And I want to talk to you a little bit tonight about what the future of Dallas looks like and the role that you're going to play in that future. I truly believe that Dallas is on the cusp of greatness, but there are a few things we need to do to not screw it up. When I was told to speak about something tonight, they told me to talk about something I love. It was easy. I love Dallas. I love the skyline. I love the sunsets. I love its energy and its vibrancy. But that wasn't always the case. I actually grew up on a farm in northwest Oklahoma. This picture was taken outside of my parents' front door. My, pot, or my pet growing up was a potbelly pig, and our closest, nicest store was a Walmart, and it was 40 miles away. So when I graduated from college and moved to Dallas, I thought I was going to be here. <laughs> yes. thought I was going to be here for a year, two tops. And then I was going to the East Coast or the West Coast. I was going to Seattle or New York, anywhere but here. I was looking for opportunity, action, and interesting people. But something started to happen. I started to realize that the action I was seeking was actually here. The opportunity I was looking for was around every corner. And the people, I met so many amazing people. Eight and a half years later, Dallas, it's my home. It's the place I want to be, and it is the place that I choose to be. And it's not just because of the energy or the opportunity or the people. It's because there's so much potential in this city. I see the potential everywhere. It's on my Facebook feed. It's at the events I go to. It's in the people I talk to. It's in our big ideas like the Calatrava Bridge. And it's in our small ideas like bike lanes out in front of our streets. And it's everywhere here at Startup Week. But as I thought about this, I started to grow a little concerned. What if this idea of Dallas being in a special time was all in our heads? What if it was something that was just this cyclical movement? What if it was a bubble that was about to burst? What if it was all just bullshit? So as I started thinking about this, I began talking to people who had been in the city a lot longer than I. And I asked them, do you think Dallas is in a good time? It started with Bobby Lyle, civic leader, engineer, and philanthropist. And he said, absolutely, we're in a great time, as long as we learn to work across industries. I then asked the anonymous guardian of the city, Wiley H. Dallas, and he, she, or they, we don't know, said, yes, absolutely, we're in a special time. That's why I'm so engaged. I realized that the people I was talking to, a lot of them had to do with the great things that happened in our city, like the ability for me to take my dog for a run on the trails between the Trinity River levees. Some of them also led to some not so great ideas, like the idea of a toll road between the Trinity River levees. So I started thinking, what can we do to capitalize on all the good things and right the wrongs of the past? And I realized that we needed to get educated about the issues, and then we needed to get involved. And here are a few things where we need to do just that. The first one is our state of education. We have an election on May 7th, and we have four DISD board members up for vote. You need to figure out which district you live in, which candidate you support, and then you need to take your friends, family, and your neighbors, and you must go vote. We said that we would solve chronic homeless by 2004. We currently have at least 3,900 people without homes. This is unacceptable. I think the best way to get to know about this is to talk to the people who live it, talk to the Birthday Party Project, and learn more. In 2012, Communities Foundation of Texas found that 39% of Dallas sites are asset poor, meaning they can't make it more than three months without a job. Check out Communities Foundation of Texas to figure out how you can help solve this. I true, uh, well, another one is uh, last year when we had six city council seats up for a vote and we had a mayor election, we only had 6.7% of you turn out to vote. That is unacceptable. So check out your local Republican or Democratic parties, I don't care which one, and go vote. I truly believe that if we remove 345, the 1.4 mile stretch of elevated highway between downtown and Deep Ellum, we will have a much stronger core, which will create for a much stronger city. Check out the Coalition for a New Dallas to learn more. Uh, part of our, our work at the Better Block Foundation is going to cities and looking at blocks and figuring out how to make them stronger. We do this by adding bike lanes, by putting flowers on the street, by putting uh, cafe seating out, which empowers people to be stronger. 
I assume we all agree on this one, but we need to kill the damn Trinity Toll Road. We are so close, you've got to lean on your city council members and let your voices be heard on this so that we can vote it down. I know there are a lot more issues in this affecting the city, but I only have so much time and so do you. So let's use that time wisely so that in the next 30 years, we'll build the city that we want to live in, the city we choose to live in, and the city that we dreamed of living in. Thank you.